BTS's Jungkook fights through disasters and storms to be with Han So He in 7 feet. Lato MV. The single mixes acoustic guitar sounds with a UK garage rhythm, topped with a soft melody line. Its lyrics contain the words of a sweet serenade, conveying the singer's wish to spend all seven days of the week with his beloved. In the MV, Jungkook tests out his romantic chemistry with actress Han So He, who is the object of his rather odd defying affection. Watch the quirky MV for 7 feet. Lato above, and make sure to also tune into Good Morning America tomorrow morning for the opening of the 2023 summer concert series, where Jungkook will be performing 7 Live for the first time. Due to translation issues, with the singer, like most of his fellow BTS members, not having a complete command of English, Young Kook did the interview with a translator sending his answers via email. In it, he vows, or at least hopes, that the BTS army can expect a solo album before 2023 is up, without giving too much away about how much is already in the can and how much remains to be done. In the meantime, fans can see how his solo charisma comes off, minus group chemistry, as he performs 7 in an appearance on Good Morning America, Friday morning. Even though 7 is officially your global solo debut, you've had songs that have already topped a billion streams on Spotify. And you recently re-released Still With You and My You to more platforms and Still With You has kind of been a streaming hit in its own way. Was the strategy to use these to help ramp up hunger for 7? Did you have confidence that having fans support those songs would not take anything away from the thirst for a new song? Still With You and My You were released as free tracks, meaning they weren't officially released. I thought it'd be nice for fans to listen to my previous solo tracks on streaming platforms before the release of 7, which marks my official solo debut. It's like a token of gratitude, so to speak. It wasn't a strategic move or didn't have anything to do with my confidence. Were you working on a lot of songs? And 7 ended up being the strongest to put out as your first global single after you had a selection? Or was it always going to be 7? and you just focused on perfecting that. 